across uh, to Birmingham now in the UK. Talk to Uma Karim, who's visiting fellow at the think tank, the Royal United Services Institute. Thanks very much for being with us uh, on the programme. As I mentioned there, nearly 3,000 deaths, 270,000 infections. I mean, some might say it's actually irresponsible to hold the Hajj at all. Well, there are things at stake which um, are much beyond uh, uh, this particular uh, dynamic because uh, Hajj, holding Hajj is uh, uh, an utmost uh, prestige which the Saudi Kingdom holds. And uh, there are issues of religion at stake here. If the Hajj, uh, because otherwise the Saudi Kingdom could have uh, scrapped it off totally since uh, they are not getting any revenues from holding uh, this event. But because of its religious significance and because Muslims uh, uh, generally would like to have uh, uh, this event held at a symbolic level, they have uh, gone with it. I mean, you mentioned the economy there. It's obviously still going to cost uh, the uh, kingdom very, very dear not to hold the Hajj. And it comes as well uh, amid a slump in the price of oil. Do you think eyes have been on that a little bit as well in this um, decision? For now, I, I guess the kingdom just doesn't want to get a new mass uh, infection or new spread because we are talking about the economy. Uh, it It is really hard on the economy with the oil prices low and uh, um, the austerity kicking in. Uh, but l let's just suppose that if uh, the Hajj had been held on the normal level and there would have been a massive uh, infection spread, what would have happened with all the kingdom's uh, health um, systems? They would have been under massive pressure and uh, simply they couldn't have uh, co coped up such a situation and then the kingdom would have been blamed for this re-emergence of uh, the infection. So I guess the economic damage they can recover afterwards, but uh, the health aspect of this whole thing was too much to ignore. That risk is still there though, isn't it? I mean, we've still got 10,000 people taking part. I, I don't think so. In my own personal view, they are not uh, 10,000. From the numbers which I have seen, uh, because uh, uh, the residents have been uh, made to stay in a particular hotel, uh, I think the facilities uh, would cater only to 1,000 to 2,000 people. And uh, with the scale, the capacity of the Grand Mosque and uh, of most of these av avenues, which are made in a way to hold more than 2 million people, I think the whole event can be held very smoothly and uh, in a very organized manner. And I, I was seeing actually some images uh, which the Saudi authorities have issued. And they, they, uh, most of the events uh, were actually uh, unfolding in an over two hours. So that, that shows that uh, it's not a very big number. It's definitely not 10,000. Umar Karim, thanks very much for uh, being with us on the programme. That's uh, Umar Karim from the uh, Royal United Thank Services you. Institute. Thanks.